Hey, what's happening guys? We started this project a little over a month ago making an Arduino based ohm meter and I threw up the uh, first video, first design and uh, look up here in this empty corner you can see a little sample of that video. Basically we use Ohm's law because the Arduino can only read voltage, it can't read resistance. So we use Ohm's law with a known voltage and a uh, known current to find the resistance. Worked out pretty well, but I wanted to make it more interesting. So next, I uh, put the question out to you guys and uh, Luke Barber came back with the uh, first idea on what to do. And if you look up there in the corner, you can see a, you know, a sample of Luke's code in the video. And it worked out very well for some specific uh, resistor values. Which is perfect, because that's, that's, that's what we want. We want to know how accurate we can make it. So then we put the question back out there, and uh, B-Blood and uh, Dr. G took up the mantle and worked out the plan you're seeing here, which is using some MOSFETs to switch through different uh, layers or levels of resistance so that what we're essentially getting is an auto ranging Arduino multimeter and I think that's pretty cool so B Blood sent me his schematic he drew which I redrew here I simply added a power plug and uh, that's the only change I made to the thing alright let's uh, build the board from the bottom up and see what happens Oh, there we go. So we've got our outline, we've got our drill holes, bottom solder mask, top solder mask, bottom paste, top paste, bottom silk, top silk, bottom layer, and top layer. And there you go. Everything's in place. Here's a nice little 3D view. there is another version of this coming out that has a uh, 5 volt voltage reference in it and uh, Luke sorry I forgot to put your name on this one your name will be on the next one you can see we did it with the ground plane so everything's nice and smooth alright well I got the boards back so what do you say we take a look at them and quit mucking around on the computer this video is sponsored by PCBWay and what I wanted to show you today is how easy it is to order a board. All you have to do is add your Gerber file, just like this. Then it checks it out. Passed, everything's fine. You just need to tell it how many you want, how many layers, material, uh, thickness, track spacing, hole size, solder mask whether or not you need edge connector type of finish, uh, either the nickel or the gold, how you want your uh, vias covered or not covered, how thick a copper. Now here's a hint from me to you. If you don't know the answers to any of these, just leave it with what's selected and you'll generally be just fine. After that, all you need to do is select your shipping method and boom, you're done, ready to get your boards. All right, so here are the boards. If you look back here on this label, you can see Express, no, I did not order Express, I don't get Express from PCBWay, and still, I had the boards in less than a week. I think it was six days to be exact. I know that's almost a week, but you know what, it's not. It's less than a week. So that's pretty cool. Here, I don't know why I keep picking things up upside down. There's the boards. I think they're pretty nice looking. Gold finish. Nice and black. You know, black and gold. Those are the best mixture of colors. Right? Right. Go Steelers. All right, let's do this. Okay. So what I've got here are our precision resistors. These were sent by B-Blood. 330 ohm, 1 meg, 5.1K, 1.5 meg, 68K. And then we also have the MOSFETs sent by B-Blood. Now the rest of the resistors will just be simple 
you know, standard resistors. And then we'll be using a lot of these female headers so that I can make as much removable as I can from it. Okay? All right, let's get started putting this together. All right, so to assemble this now, I just need to be able to get my OLED out of there. So there's the OLED. Then we need the Arduino. Careful pulling these out. You gotta rock them, because if you pull too quickly from one end, those really really splay the pins out badly. And there we go. It's assembled. All we need to do now is put our unknown resistor in there. Pretty cool. All right, there's our board. Everything's all assembled, ready to go. We have our Precision resistors over here, or standard resistors, MOSFETs, OLED. There's our resistor under test. You're going to put it in the places with the plus signs, reset button, and Arduino. So, I am now going to send this out to B Blood and Dr. G and have them guys build this up as well, since it's their project as well as mine. When they have theirs done, we will come back and revisit this and take a look at the functionality. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring not just this video, but this channel. I urge you guys to check them out. They do great work. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.